Hello there guys and welcome to the to part 2 of our um, Java game programming um, uh, series of tutorials. Um, as you as I mentioned before today's tutorial we're going to go ahead and talk about the setters or the, the basically uh, data helpers and mutators. Um, uh, I noticed before from my previous tutorial that I spelled asteroids wrong here. So let me go ahead and rename that and spell it correctly. Are you guys it's spelled <coughs> A-S-T-E instead of <coughs> I missed the E there so why well it's not a big it's just the name of the project so nothing big there so for today's part if you didn't watch the previous tutorial guys go ahead and watch the tutorial so you can get a better understanding of the code that's already as you see in the screen here we, we did that in our previous tutorial um, so to waste no time we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and get started here with, uh, with this tutorial and for this tutorial we're gonna have our data, our helpers here, and our mutators. So let me put a comment here. Um, whoa. Let me put a comment there. And let's call it here helpers and data mutators. Mutators um, method section. Just so we know our sections here by looking at the comments. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started typing our functions here. So to waste no time, go ahead and type public void set shape. So we want to set our shape and type shape in here, our object shape, and then type shape again. So we're going to call it shape. And inside here we type this shape equals shape. And what we're doing here is we're we're setting the shape in our vector shape class here which is up here we're setting this shape to uh, to the shape that will will be passed to this function from our program one once we're playing so that's what is this doing It's basically setting that is is basically a mutator and same thing with our boolean so we do here is public void set alive and declare a boolean here so this is our game state and call it alive and we do the same thing this alive equals alive so we're basically setting our game state basically if our game state changed from oh he's alive and oh the the ship was was destroyed so the game state should be false the player the the ship is no more alive so the player basically loses the game next one public void set x so we want to set our x double x in here and do the same thing with as we did previously so we type this x equals x and for our next function here for our next setter we want to do ink x and let's put a double here and put a variable called i and let's type this dot x and let's say plus equals i what what is this doing ink x standing for increment x so what we want x is the position of, of our ship in the uh, on the screen located in the x axis so going um, from left to right and so what this function does is it's going to update that this is going to tell us um the ship moved one to the right so I so let's say I is one so then X will become whatever X whatever the previous value of X was plus I and then we're gonna do the same thing for the Y and that will be the new location of the ship so that's how we see the ship uh, traveling around the screen by updating this location by in incrementing the X and the Y value so we increment we set it our X and we incremented it so now we'll do the same thing for the Y to do that public void set Y mm -hmm and double y and this y equals y and now increment our y so we do ink y let's call it i let's call all of them i because it's easier to keep track of them and don't worry about since they have the same name they might interfere with the, with each other but no because they're because of their scope so their scope is only this i can only be seen within this function so that will, that will cause no problems let's type this y plus equals i 
Alright, so now we, we have our Y uh, increment here. Next thing from this, we have our getter here. Let's go ahead and then set the velocity, the X velocity. So let's go ahead and type public void set vel x. So we're setting our x velocity double vel x. This vel x equals vel x. And let's go ahead and type public void. And let's go. S uh, we're gonna increment. Uh, well x so we're gonna increment the velocity also so if the if the user um, so if the ship accelerates we want to basically increment velocity we want to make it go faster instead of keeping it at a constant velocity because then it would be no fun so to do that we type this well x plus equals i now let's go ahead and do the same thing for the y here public void and we do the same thing for the y so we type set well y velocity on the y location on the y axis and y and vel y and let's go inside of here and type this vel y equals vel y alright let's put a semicolon here and let's go ahead and do the same thing let's go increment the y now the velocity y do that by void and then we do inc the y velocity in the y and then double i and we do this the y equals plus equals i all right now we're gonna go in our angle here so we want to do the same thing for the angle let's go ahead and type public void and we have our getter here which is called get move angle now we're going to call it set move angle and we're going to call it double move angle and this dot move angle equals move angle and we're going to increment the angle also the move angle so let's type void ink move angle and then double i so this is incrementing our move angle so that the move angle plus equals i now we increment our move angle let's proceed do the same thing for the y here so set well in our case it's not the y anymore it's called the face angle so basically we position the point or where the bullet or the top of the ship is facing where the bullets are coming out of so type and then we call it face angle and we have a double there and we do the same thing this face angle equals face angle all right and let's go ahead and increment that as well so the type ink face angle and then double i so we are incrementing our face angle here basically where the ship is facing where which which direction to do that we type this face angle plus equals i all right so we have uh, all of our setters here or our data the date here data mutators method section with all our functions here next let's go ahead and put another comment here and I'm gonna let's gonna have our default let's type I'm gonna call it default constructor so this is gonna be our default constructor here so our default constructor is basically gonna be the name of our class called vector shape in my case is vector shape in your case it can be uh, whatever you guys call it to do that public vector shape and our default constructor we're gonna uh, basically have the initial state of the game so we're gonna have all of our sets here so we have set what do we have in here we had um, set shape and we want to set the shape so set shape put null we want to so our initial state we don't want the shape to be anything so we want to set it to null because our initial shape um, 
nothing should have the game hasn't started yet so we don't want any shapes to be there so we want it to be nothing the shape to be uh, set to nothing next we want to have our set alive so we want our player to be alive no of course not so we're going to make this false and then we want to set the x and let's set this zero zero we want our x location to be zero zero and then set our y here the same location because we don't want it to be anywhere on the screen and we don't want anything to appear on the screen because the game hasn't started yet and we do the same thing so we set our set velocity x we want our velocity to be zero and we want our x velocity and our y velocities to be both zero same thing for our move basically angle we want it to be zero zero and we want our face angle to be the same this is our default constructor as if you don't again in this in this construct here is our in initial state we don't want anything to appear on the screen and we want no shapes nothing to appear until the hit until the player actually hits play all right guys so in this tutorial we, we went over uh, our we typed we basically uh, defined our helpers or our data mutators methods here the set the the setters and also our default constructor in our next tutorial we're gonna go ahead and define we're gonna go ahead and go inside of our ships uh, sh class so we're gonna go ahead and basically um, draw so we're basically gonna go ahead and draw our ship um, basically that little uh, triangle shape ship uh, on the screen that's gonna be in our next or not third in the third part of the Java gaming program tutorial so thank you for watching this second part guys check out all my tutorials guys leave comments subscribe rate the videos and and thank you for watching this tutorial and there will be our third part will be coming up extremely shortly uh, after this tutorial thank you for watching and please leave comments and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching guys next tutorial gonna be our ship class so thank you for watching